Hello, shy guitar people. Um, today I'm <laughs> sitting in the dressing room because my stepsister is in the other room talking very loudly on the phone. So, you guys voted on this story, um, and you guys said you wanted to see my coming out story. So, I came out as bisexual when I was 15. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm bi. Hello. Um, that means that I like both men and women. I'm attracted to both genders. So how it all started was I was friends with this girl. Um, we're still friends, but we were like, hey, you want to try going out? And we were both like, okay, cool. Um, so then I went home and told my grandma just casually, like, I'm dating this girl. Once I said that, she was like, what? You're dating her? No, no, that's not happening. And I was just like, I feel like I might be bisexual. And then she proceeded to say every offensive thing in the book. She was like, no, why, like, why do you need to like both genders? Just pick one. Back then I, I didn't understand a lot so I didn't understand why this was offensive, but now I'm just like, I'm sorry but I just, I can't pick just one because I like both. Like what am I supposed to do? That's who I'm attracted to. I can't help it. So then afterwards, um, I proceeded to tell people that I was bi and I told my mom and I feel like because I didn't believe it I didn't like it, it wasn't really a process for me it was just like oh I'm dating girls now guess I'm bi like it was just that easy um, and I feel like because I didn't believe it that everybody else didn't really believe it as well and then I updated my Facebook status to in a relationship and one of my uncles commented, hey, who's the lucky guy? And then my grandmother proceeded to comment a whole entire paragraph that was like, oh, this guy, like she actually did that, put it in quotation marks, this guy is not exactly a guy, but it's a girl. Amrita thinks that she is bisexual lately, so please try not to encourage her in this area. And it's like, I don't know why she had such a problem with me dating a girl. It's not that big of a deal. Like... <laughs> so then she commented all that, and then once I called my girlfriend, <laughs> she proceeded to look up my girlfriend's number like she went through my phone records she actually went through my phone records to find her number and then what she did was she called up my girlfriend at the time and she left a message saying that if we didn't break up she would tell my girlfriend's mom what was going on like she was like you need to break up with my daughter. Like, she played the message on her cell phone for me, so I know for a fact that she actually called my girlfriend. And she was like, hello, um, this is Amrita's grandmother. You need to break up with my granddaughter. And if you don't, I'm gonna tell everybody, I'm gonna tell your pa well, she didn't say everybody, but I'm gonna tell your parents what's going on. And then after that, she broke up with me. <laughs> because she was like, I just, I can't handle this. And I mean, I understand. It's, it's a hard thing to take. It's a hard thing to accept. Um, it's, it's hard to go through when people are like that, when they don't accept you and they try, they're against you. And yeah, my grandma had a huge issue with it. She was like, just pick one. Why do you feel, why do you need to like both men and women? And she told me that I was just saying that I was bi because my mom is bi and I just want to feel closer to her. And it, I mean, that's not true. 
like now I know that that's not true back then I wasn't so sure I just said it because I started to date girls I dated one girl and I was like fuck it I'm bi like it wasn't even a process I didn't even I didn't really ask myself if I liked girls but now I know that I do I'm pretty sure I'm bi <laughs> and sometimes with friends and all of those people like um they will have a strange attitude towards it sometimes I'm just like yeah I like girls and then they'll take two steps back and like you like girls and it's like no I'm not attracted to every girl ever okay <laughs> like it's not like I'm gonna do anything to you come on but at least I have people who accept me for who I am, my mom accepts me for who I am, and she loves me and so does my stepdad and so do a lot of other people and there are friends who accept me for who I am. And I appreciate that. So that was my coming out story um, that you guys voted on if you want to influence what videos I make next. Um, you can go to my Instagram or my Facebook page where I do polls. Um, th they will both be linked down below. I recently made a Patreon. If you would like to contribute to that, that would be very greatly appreciated. If you can't or you don't want to, it's totally fine. I completely understand. And I recently made a Discord. Um, and you should check it out and come hang out with me and you'll get notified when I make new videos. As usual, I love you guys very much. Thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel and watching my videos. Um, <laughs> bye guys. Rock on. Shut up and sit down.